All right, guys, I've got uh, 80 grit sandpaper, which I'm probably gonna have to uh, switch out here soon. But um, took it outside so it'd keep the dust down inside. I don't want the wife getting all upset here, so. Just gonna sand this down, sand the uh, nice rounded edge down. And uh, I'm gonna apply a finish to this at some point. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, eh, something just, uh, just to make it look nice. Hopefully I didn't shake the heck out of the camera. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna do to all the pieces. I've got um, three stretchers I'm making. So, like I said, I probably don't need to put a finish on it. However, because uh, I know that once it gets all uh, used and greasy and stuff, it'll probably be okay. But eh, I think I wanna put something on it just to make it look cool. Make it look different, so. Uh, again, I'm using just regular one by, um, I'm sorry, two by, two by three uh, that I got it. All right, guys, I got my pieces all sanded down. What I did was I've, I've marked for my bottom adjustable rail, if you will. Uh, I'm going to go 20 inches. I'm going to give it a whirl and see what that looks like. And I'm going to route out. 
already got my spots all set. I'm going to route out a little spot for the for the adjustment. So hold on to your ears. Here we go. Just my router. So I can go up a little higher and finish my cut. And once I get that adjusted, I'll finish this and I'll show you the end result.
So, if I can show you, what I did was uh, went ahead and cut that with the router table, and I'll sand it down, and it'll look all nice when I'm all done. And I'm going to cut them into lengths. I got them all marked up, so once I get that cut up, then it's time for assembly. All right, guys. Let's get these coyote stretchers put together, huh? Hopefully you guys can see okay. What I wanted to show you is I pre-drilled a few things. Number one, I'm going to be putting a staple, electrical staple, at the very tip of this coyote stretcher. I pre-drilled. I'm going to glue it in, and it's going to be there to help support that. Also, right in between here, I have a nail. I don't know if it's uh, what size it is, but it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good size. And that's going to help hold. I'm going to set that in the wood. I've pre-drilled. And let me see if I can show you. Uh, yeah, I pre-drilled right there and on the other side. Now on this side, I'm going to glue it in. On the other side, it's just going to float in. That way it can ride back and forth and support so it doesn't, so the stretcher doesn't want to go like this. It'll help it. So hopefully that's explainable there. All right, let me get this, let me try to get this glued in here if I can. Having difficulties trying to get some glue out of this thing. Oops. All right. So with this nail, what I've done is I've cut it down to size and I filed this end. The pointy end, I'm actually going to embed into the wood. And tap it down in a bit. All right. Wipe off the excess glue. If I can get it all. And then that will that will ride in there. And now the top. I've got to get some glue in on that. Let me see if I can get some right there. Gotcha. And right there. And gotcha. All right. Put the cap back on. All right, electrical staple. And I'm just gonna pound this, I'm just gonna pound this in the end, in the holes that I've already pre-drilled. That's that. That'll set up nicely. I'm going to flip around here. And again, I've pre drilled some holes. I'm going to go ahead and secure that. Uh, I am using, and please don't bust on me, but I am using. A slot head screw and I don't normally like slot head screws but I had them and it was easy so I thought what the heck I suppose if you wanted you could probably use a uh, sheetrock screw 
but I wanted a little <clears throat> something a little heftier. All right, so I do have pre-drilled holes. Find that. Get that in. Hope everybody's having a good trapping season. We're done. We're done with the land trapping here. We still got uh, some beaver trapping, and I've got I got two more properties that that I'd like to trap. Uh, no more otter. Otter season's done, so it's just beaver. I believe muskrat and mink. I'll have to double check before I set. But all right. So what I did was went ahead and put a uh, a wing nut in. And I'm just going to tighten that down so the so this head, it's a square head, that will set in the bottom of the leg of the stretcher. And that has set nicely. All right. So that's it, guys. That is it. There's the adjustment portion. And as we come down through... Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, let me see. There's, I don't know if you can see it, there's the end. All right. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it'll work out fine. I think it'll be good. Let me know what you think. Put something in the comments there. If you like that idea, especially with that little metal piece in there. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, guys, I guess the next video you'll see is probably going to be uh, beaver trapping. I've got one more stretcher I've got to put together. I'll get that together here in the next minute. And I guess we'll go from there. I am going to give a stretcher to my friend mark he's helped me out in the past he's a great guy uh that's what trappers do help each other out so all right guys we'll talk to you later hope you enjoy the video be safe